that means they live here, but they are now preparing their way so that when they live in eternity, they'll have a portion in the next world. Then what the Kabbalah comes and says is that the next world is not something that doesn't exist yet. It is the context within which our existence happens, and therefore to say that they have a portion in two worlds is a secret way, a secret midrashic way of saying that their, sh their root up there is connected all the way down, and they're now working to have a pipeline to bring more from the root, through the trunk, through the branches, all the way down to here, and to have more and more come down. That's why they're called two names because they are connecting their aspect of soul that's within them consciously to the aspect of soul that towers above them. And they are beloved. And you are beloved. So, the first name corresponds to the root that remains on high attached to the tree, while the second name is the branch that descends to become clothed in the physical body. The reason that's in brackets is because he said it later, but he, he, it was implied here. So again, the first name represents that aspect of soul attached on high. Again, whatever that means, in God. And the second name represents that aspect of soul that comes into us. And this root, the root above, is called the person's mazal, from the word nozel, to flow. In English it comes out as a nozzle. And a nozzle is a nose. And a nose is a... Uh, Stripping sometimes. Okay. okay. Uh, the root above is called the mazal. Why? Because co sustenance constantly flows down, nozel, it constantly flows down from it, from the upper root into the branch that has descended and become clothed in the body. Now the ideas can get really beautiful here. Is that there's a constant flow of, <coughs> of life force an invisible flow of life force. Wow, that's interesting information. How do I become more aware of that? Where is this source? And how, and how does it transfer into me? We have to do with my name. What is it, how do you deal with this? The upper root is, is extremely high and exalted, originating the very pinnacle of the of the highest universe, it's called Atilut, while the branch is extremely long, descending down through all the universes until its lowest extremity becomes clothed in the physical body. Anybody um, want to interact with me on this? Yeah. Can you close the window? Ah. <laughs> it's not open. <laughs> that open. That open. Oh, okay. I just have one question. Okay. Let's, let's do that for... Thank you. I just have one question. Yes, a question? How, how does Nozel and Nun come a man? Two different words, Nozel and Nozal. You know they're connected. Oh, because you can't the, change a letter. No, the Zao is the, is the root. Ah, what you mean? Zeal. In Aramaic, zeal means go, move, movement. Hebrew and Aramaic are amazing languages. So, excuse me. Yes. Is the flow of a life force the breathing that we do, where we bring the stress into it? Ah, life? that's a very good question. So look, look at look at what Roberta Bacheva is doing now by one little question. In a sense, I've been pointing up and using the spatial metaphor that there's something above us, something that's all encompassing, and we're down here, and there's some flow from it down into us. But we ourselves are an embodiment of the entire universe. So it's really a flow from here down into here and down into here. This is called the Naha, Naha Yotzeme Eden, and a river, which is the spinal cord, comes forth from Eden, which is the cerebral cortex, Lahashkodetagan, to irrigate the garden. The Zohar does, goes to town on a verse like this. We are a garden of Eden. Eden is up here. The river flows out of Eden, down in, into the, the lower parts of our bodies, and we meet in marriage, and we, and we bless you, and we create children. It's all about the flow from the brain all the way down through the spine. 
into the lower, into the nervous system, into uh, the into the reproductive organs. That the connection between a man and a wife is a total connection, physically, spiritually. So this head here is not just an intellectual center. It's a center with many stories or many many levels to it. I think most people live in the basements of their mm -hmm. of their buildings. <laughs> but uh, we have many stories, and so the time has come now to explore up to the higher stories of our buildings within ourselves. Again, there's also up there, there it's very interesting the way, I hear you, I'll get your question in a second, but it's very interesting whenever I fly in jets, it's not that we're closer to heaven when you're in a jet, but that's not what we're talking about. It's that when you work with, with anal analogical thinking, being up in an airplane, up above the Earth's atmosphere, or in the, her higher, the higher parts of the Earth's atmosphere, it is parallel to being in the higher atmosphere of the physical brain, which also, both of them parallel being in the higher atmospheres of the spiritual universes. Even if you don't know, but you see parallels, you see patterns. And so, you can utilize being up in a jet the incredible power of being up there. Plus, wow, it's amazing. And not take it for granted in order to do certain meditations while you're up there. Right? Because that's the place to do them. But then it's good to do them back down on Earth because that's also fine. But you utilize the moment. You're, you're standing on top of a mountain. You're standing at the beach in front of the ocean. You utilize the power of nature and the power of your own body in order to enter into spiritual states. It's not away from the body. It's through the body itself. Through the fact that we have a temple of a body here. So, uh, what did you want to say or ask? Uh, um, I was just thinking in terms of that metaphor of the ladder and the angels going up and down. That's our parsha. In both directions that you can think of it as a double-edged metaphor of something a seed that's planted and it grows upwards. The person is growing like from the ground up to heaven and becoming more and more spiritual or the opposite, that a person is already really there, that whole ladder is there.